wrestling performance art? Should professional wrestlers be called performance artists? Now, let me start off with this, saying it loudly and clearly so there is absolutely no misunderstanding whatsoever. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't freaking matter! It doesn't freaking matter! Vince has been trying to run away from the concept of being in the professional wrestling business for 30 damn plus years now by calling what WWE does sports entertainment. And yet at the end of the day, when you ask somebody about WWE or WWF, the average person is still going to call it professional wrestling, 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 or fake wrestling. Vince has been at this for three decades. And you don't see people talking about, I'm going to go to that WWE sports entertainment show downtown at the Coliseum this weekend. Does anybody say that? Hell no! Hardcore wrestling fans don't say that. Casual wrestling fans don't say that. And just general lay people on the street who don't watch professional wrestling don't refer to it as sports entertainment. So it doesn't matter. And leave it to a dingo like Jordan Grace to think that calling it performance art and the wrestler's performance artist is going to change anything whatsoever. It's not. If you think that that is something that is significantly holding wrestling back, if you think out of all the myriad of issues and problems with professional wrestling today, that this is a key core problem that must be addressed immediately and thinking changing labeling is going to do anything, well, ding dong dong, I got some bad news for you. And as far as all of these people out here trying to sit there and stick up for her in this really dumbass take, because it is a dumbass take. Just a couple of things. Number one, number one, agreeing with her does not get you any closer to getting in bed with her. Number two, blindly agreeing with people just because they're in a certain business doesn't get you anywhere. Number three, I point back to what I said just a moment or two ago. Why would you think now, after all these years, a bitch referring to it as sports entertainment, that you labeling it performance art or the professional wrestlers as performance artists is going to change any damn thing? It is an exercise in futility. It is a waste of everybody's breath. And even the past couple of days, as I've seen people on all sides of this argument taking pot shots at each other and making their points, and I've contributed to the delinquency of this retardation too, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, what the hell am I doing? It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Focus on the things that actually do matter and not the stupid ass things by trying to dress it up and label it as something else. Now, in the past, I must say, I have bantied about the possibility of whatever is going on in professional wrestling is not, by and large, working. And as a result, you could either A, go back to the kayfabe all the way, living, breathing the gimmick 24-7, 365 stuff, or you could go the entire opposite direction and totally present it like it's a movie, totally present it like it's a TV show, and have the wrestlers go by their wrestling names on screen, and by their real human names outside of professional wrestling. You think about it, you can talk about, oh, wrestling is unique, and it's a special snowflake, and this and that, but Sylvester Stallone isn't any less admired, or any less respected, or his movies aren't any less watched, because he doesn't go by Rambo or Rocky the whole damn time. People still go to see Arnold movies, and they don't expect him to be going by the name of Conan or going by the fucking Terminator. You get what I'm saying? I mean, there's a little bit of stupidity here. Kind of like the arrogance of the overall wrestling bubble, even by the people that want to be outside of the wrestling bubble, still contributing to the idiocy of said wrestling bubble. 
You're not so special. You're not so unique. Get over your fucking selves. So I, I can kind of see, like, you could go one way or another. Or at least it would be nice if you're going to use your wrestling name on social media, at least act like your wrestling persona on social media, and don't be sitting there and talking about the quality of your matches, and don't be sitting there and taking smiling selfies with your freaking opponent who you're supposed to be trying to draw people in to want to see wrestle that person. That's stupid. But this whole thing about, it's performance art. Well, I got news for you. If you look, at today's wrestling, by and large, in no way, shape, or form, is it performance art. The hell is artistic about a bunch of idiots who couldn't bother to get over the right way by actually learning how to be personalities, actually possessing charisma, actually learning to be larger in life, interesting, compelling characters, being storytellers, instead having to sit there and flip and high spot and bump their way into trying to get a certain level of over because they were too lazy, too incompetent, and too lacking in overall talent to be able to get over in a right and meaningful way that truly gets the audience to connect on an entirely different level. This crap is not performance art. People throwing grenades that you can't see that are invisible and everybody goes, ooh. People doing street fighter Mortal Kombat, ooh, and shit. That's not performance art. Guys sitting there having 20 damn false finishes in their freaking matches, sitting there and invalidating the serious, significant looking moves that they did before by doing other shit because everybody's got to get their shit in is not performance art. Performance art would be taking somebody, even though everybody knowing wrestling is fake, and making you believe that at least that person is real. Yet all the while, they're working you. Look at Haku, man. Everybody knows he's a legit badass. Literally can rip your eye out of your side and bite your nose off. Do all this other crap. Looking big and menacing like a fucking Islander he was. And you could go watch a match of his and it looked like he was beating the hell. Beating the absolute dickens out of his opponent. And yet all the while, he wasn't. That's the art. The art is to make it look real, get people to suspend their disbelief, and all the while, you're not hurting each other. Working the crowd up into the frenzy, telling a story, being a character, being a personality, being able to talk people into the damn building, all of these things that Jordan Grace and so many other people that Russell today would have no clue about whatsoever. That is art. Art is not doing a 450 splash or sitting there and doing some corkscrew flaming anus drop off of the top rope. Performance art is throwing a right punch and making it look real and your opponent selling it like it is real. Do you get what the hell I'm saying here? Wrestling in and of itself can absolutely be an art form. It most certainly can be performance art. And Jim Cornette or anybody else that doesn't like it can kiss my pasty ass. Because that's what the hell it is. Watching Michael Jordan all those years. Watching him was like poetry in motion. That was art. Barry Sanders, watching him, was like watching an artist ply his craft. Tom Brady today, same damn thing. What the hell is so wrong with calling it an art? Absolutely nothing. It's not going to change anything. I completely agree with that. But fundamentally, if calling wrestling performance art bothers you that much, then there is a problem with you. But I come back to this. What these guys do now is not performance art. It is cheap, instant gratification, fucking millennial-based wrestling. That's what the hell this is. Why bother to tell a story? Let me get this move in. Why bother to sell the significance of that move? Because this guy's got to get his crap in too!
You know, it's like, and maybe putting this into a language that somebody like a Jordan Grace would understand. You could call wrestling with another woman in your panties performance art, but at the end of the day, it's porn. There can absolutely be an art to porn. There most certainly can be an art to sex. But at the end of the day, everybody is still going to call it porn. They're not going to say, oh, I'm going to hit the spank bank watching this performance art of Jordan Grace and Sin Phage doing some of the wrestling in an apartment. They're going to call it porn. They're going to call it Lesbo porn. Give me a fucking break here. We don't call sex performance art. Some of us might call it unnecessary evil. But we're most certainly aren't calling it performance art. At the end of the day, it's still going to be porn. It's still going to be sex. And this is still ultimately going to be professional wrestling, no matter how much of a spin you try to put on it. No matter how much you are ashamed of being involved with it. But beyond all else, if you truly are that insistent, everyone, on it being called a performance art, then why don't you learn how to actually be artists and perform like one? Because all we got now is a bunch of talentless, freaking lazy ass spot monkeys that have to kill themselves. Here's the stupidity of it. Guys used to go, guys and gals used to go out in professional wrestling, make you believe it. They were real, even though you knew it was fake. And they would make the stuff look really real, even though it was fake. Now you got guys that go out there and kill themselves and look fake doing so. You got guys that do shit that really hurts themselves, that is really real, and people think it looks faker than ever. But you want to call that performance art? No, it's wrestling. And it represents the stupidity of what wrestling has become today. Just like the debate of several days of whether or not we should call it professional wrestling or fucking performance art. It ain't changing a damn thing. Who the hell cares? 